Hi everybody, welcome to Tuttle Up Stamping. We have a mystery stamping project today. My name is Judy Tuttle and I'm from Midland, Texas and I'm here to stamp with you today. So welcome. Um, let me get over here on my computer and make sure that everything is set up correctly and you guys can see me. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, here we go, that looks great. And, um, hi, <laughs> thanks for joining me. I will post this video on YouTube after it's done. And I will also include some links above to my email list, to my online exclusives, uh, Super Saturday Retreat in a Box event, my new Ink Color Club that's starting today, um, and other links that you might need, um, from information that I give you from my live today. Um, I hope you're all doing well. When you jump on, let me know you're here and um, so I can say hi and know that somebody is watching. That's always nice, right? Um, okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is my cards from last week. Um, thank you guys for all your awesome compliments. These were my cards from last week. I made three using the Sweetly Scripted stamp set that is an online exclusive. Um, if you look it up, you can see it. And this one used the Countryside Inn paper. This one used that, uh, that beautiful uh, perennial uh, lavender. What's it called? Perennial lavender. Mm, I don't know. Can't remember. It's lavender. If you look up lavender, you'll find it. Beautiful purples, and that used I used the happy anniversary stamp on that one. And then this one was using the daisy, fresh as a daisy paper, and I used a million thanks on that one. These were all super easy, simple cards, but because so many people have wanted this class to go, I've decided to extend it for one more week. So I will um, let you know what you need to do to get that. If you would like a set of these cards to make two each of the three designs, you just have to place a $35 order in my online store. You will see the link to that right here on uh, my glass mat when I turn the camera down. So if you're still interested in getting this online card class to go, um, you can get it. And congratulations to Connie York. Connie, you won these three cards. Um, I will send them to you in the mail. But, I, hi Mary, thanks for watching, and I would love for you to watch the replay later if you don't have time right now. So, Connie York, if you are watching, please send me your address, and I will get these cards out to you in the mail this week. So, I hope you enjoy those. But, like I said, I will be extending that online card class to go for one more week, um, because... So many people have expressed an interest in it. Let me pull my camera up just a tiny bit there. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn the camera down because I have quite a few things to talk to you real quick before we get started. Hi, Dana. Thanks. Yay. Thanks for being here and watching me. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn the camera down and around, and you will see me upside down for just a half a second while we get this going here. Um, okay, I think that's good right there. Pretty good. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so this is my first year ever to offer an in-color club. Okay, so an in-color club is a way for you to get all the new in-colors and coordinating projects that come, products that come with it um, in two different ways. Now, let me tell you what you get with the in-color club. You get the sparkle paper um, and it'll be cut six by six and it'll be added to your order unless you get the I want it all option. You get the cardstock full packs of each of the five cardstocks. You get the 12 by 12 in color coordinating paper that goes with it. You get the gems. You get the sparkle gems and the flat dots. You get the ribbon, 
one of each color. You get the stamp pads, one of each color, and you will get the re-inkers for the stamp pads as well, but those aren't available to us yet, so I can't show you those. So, two ways you can do the Ink Color Club. You can get everything all at once. Everything all at once in one fail swoop. Starting on May the 1st, I will invoice you a PayPal invoice, and you can pay for it all at once. And you can get the ribbons, the inks, the refills, the, the embellishments, the designer series paper, one pack of each color, and the sparkle paper. Okay, the cost of getting everything all at once is $262.50 plus tax and shipping, okay? That will be sent to you directly from the Stampin' Up! company, okay? I will place your order for you as soon as I PayPal invoice and you um, pay me for that, okay? But if you get the I Want It All option, you will also get $26.25 free from the new catalog of anything else you want. So maybe you want to throw in the markers or the blends or whatever. So, or some of the blends. So that is if you want everything at once. $262 plus shipping and tax, plus you get $26.25 of free of anything you want from the new catalog. Now, the second option is a little more budget friendly. You might be going, ah, oh, 262, that's a lot. You can get one of each color family. So let's say you wanted um, the first month peach pie, um, and I choose the months that they go out, okay? So peach pie, you would get just the peach pie. You would get the cardstock, the ink pad, the re-inker, the ribbon, the Peach Pie Designer Series Papers, the Peach Pie Shimmer Paper, and the Peach Pie Embellishments, okay? These are shimmer, these are flat. You would get all the Peach Pie in, in one month, and then all the Summer Splash in the next month, and then all of the Shy Shamrock, and etc. okay? So, if you would like to get it month by month instead of all at once, the cost of that is $62.50 uh, plus shipping and tax. And I will send them out to you. I will invoice you on the first of each month. And when you pay your invoice, I will send you out the In Color Club. You are committing to doing it for five months if you decide to do it month by month. Okay? So, information. There's way more information than that on the registration page. I will include the link in the description um, if you want more information on how to be a part of the In Color Club. Okay? So, there we go. All right. The next thing is that I have an online exclusive Super Saturday event coming up. It is on April 27th, and you can get this two ways. You can get it in person, or you can get it to go. There are three classes you can choose from. Each class is $36.50. If you come in person, that price includes the food for the day. We'll have breakfast and lunch together. And um, it also includes $20 worth of product for each class. So the first class is the Comforting Thoughts class. We'll be using the Comforting Thoughts stamp set. Um, great sentiments for helping people when they're in a bad place, okay? Comfort, like maybe they've had a loss in their family, feel better. Um, cancer sucks. I love that. There's no good card for this. I do have lots of love to give. I don't have all the right words. So this class, Comforting Thoughts, you'll make four cards. The stamp set is included. I will also provide the paper embellishments and uh, ribbon that you need to complete those cards. Okay. The second class is um, the Filled with Fun. This is that cute little wagon class. It comes with dies. Um, I will, again, you make four cards. We'll be using the Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper. You will get a half a pack of that paper. You will get a whole roll of linen thread, and you will get a whole package of the um, Rainbow Adhesive Dots. So you get $20 worth of product. 
Um, if you're coming in person, you can use my stamp set and dies. If you're taking it to go, you will need your own stamp set if you want to complete the cards the way I did. And then the last one, hi, um, thanks for coming in, Cindy. The last one is the Latte Love class. Um, you will get a half a pack of the Latte Love paper, uh, a bolt of the pecan pie ribbon, and a whole package of the Latte Swirls embellishments. $36.50. That is a lot of product for $36.50, and it includes shipping if you're taking it to go, and the food on the day of the event if you're coming in person. So think about joining me for my online. You don't have to do all three. You can choose just one or two um, or all three if you want the best bang for your buck. And um, I will get those kits prepared and out to you in the next couple of weeks, okay? So think about joining my online exclusives class. I think you'll really enjoy it um, all the way around. Okay, how about some mystery stamping today? Yay! Okay, so let me tell you what you're going to need. Let me clip this off here. You are going to need a piece of cardstock. Um, and if you have a DSP picked out, just something coordinates with it. It needs to be five and a half by ten and an eighth inches. And we're going to score this long side at four and a quarter, five and three fourths, seven and a quarter, and eight and three fourths. Okay? So this is going to be a fun mystery project. I think you guys are going to like this. So I'm going to take my cardstock, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, when I score, I love using my score pal. I love being able to mark exactly where my score lines are going to be and do it um, all at once. Okay, so I'm going to grab, I usually use a bone folder, and I'm going to put my bone folder right there in the slot at four and a quarter. I've got my marker there. And I'm going to pull down at four and a quarter. And then I have a marker at five and three fourths. I'm going to pull down there. I have a marker at seven and a quarter and at eight and three quarters right there. There we go. Okay. So that's going to be my card base. Let me put my score pal down over here. All right. And then I'm going to roll all these individual score marks to the inside here, okay? So I scored, these are all end up being about one and a half inches wide, okay? And I'm just, this is what you need that bone folder for, um, is to get a really good crisp fold on those score lines. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what it's going to look like, okay? Then, you need a piece of white paper or vanilla, depending on what color matches your designer series paper. And it needs to be cut three inches by five and a quarter inches. Three inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? That's going to go here on the inside. Now, before we put that down... We're going to add some coordinating cardstock. We need two panels, two of them. I'm using Petal Pink. You'll see why in just a minute. And they need to be cut one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay, one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Then two pieces of designer series paper. And I'm using the Zany Zoo paper, and I like these polka dots. Um, and it needs to be one and an eighth by five and an eighth, okay? So I'm going to take each of these cardstock panels that are cut one and a quarter by five and a quarter, and I'm going to add onto them my coordinating DSP that is cut one and an eighth by five and an eighth. Now, I highly recommend that you use liquid glue, and I know we all have feelings about that, okay? 
I like to use liquid glue when I know I might need some wiggle room to get things really straight, okay? Thanks for sharing my video, Cindy. I really appreciate that. Um, I spent the last five days at a stamping retreat on a lake in a lodge. It was a beautiful place. Um, I did not put on the retreat. I went um, with a friend who put on the retreat. And, um, okay, this liquid glue was working fine just like two minutes ago. And now it's decided to be cloggy on me. So, since I made such a big deal about using liquid glue, I'm going to open a new one real quick while I talk. So, anyway, we got there on Wednesday. We spent, this was one of our little gifts that we got, this glue, um bottle with the little glue holder. Isn't that cute? So I love getting these little glue holders. They're so handy and they keep all the glue down at the point um, of your liquid glue. So that might have been the problem with my last one I just had. Okay, so here we go. Oh, there we go. It's coming out fine. So I'm going to add liquid glue to the back side of this pan. Anyway, we spent... Five glorious days just stamping our little hearts away. She created some beautiful projects for us to do. So many that my friend Jenny from Lincoln and I barely got them all done. Um, they were very detailed and beautiful. Um, so we had a great time. Ate food, sang songs. They played 70s music hits music the whole time okay so there is my dsp on that panel and then i'm going to do the same thing over here i got a little too much glue on that one so i shared and this one is going to go right here on this panel okay so i know some of you said you like to see the finished product but not for a mystery product project right don't you want to be surprised Find out what the mystery is. Um, okay, so there's the second panel right there. Okay. So, anyway, I drove five hours back last night, and um, I'm kind of playing catch-up today. So, we're going to take this basic white panel that we cut three inches by five and a quarter inches, if you're just coming on, and I'm going to add this DSP panel right here to the edge. I kind of like to have something to put it on right there, okay? So I'm gonna grab my glue again, add just a touch to the edge here. Maybe that's the one that was already clogged up. Oh, there we go. Okay, and I'm gonna add this it was so beautiful, Sue, and the weather, except for the day we got there, it was very rainy, but the rest of the time, it was just beautiful outside, and we had a lovely, lovely time together. Okay, so I'm adding that panel right to the edge of that um, basic white right there. Little glue oozed out. And then I'm going to add this right here to this side of the inside four and a quarter inch wide um, panel, okay? Now this time, I'm gonna give up on this liquid glue for just a minute, and I'm just gonna go back to my seal plus. Boy, I'm just throwing all things around all over the place here. And I'm gonna add this panel to this edge about an eighth of an inch from all the top, the side, and the bottom, okay? Let's go right like that. There we go. All right, so that's gonna end up being the inside of our card. This side over here that has one, two, three, four panels, we are gonna fold that in half, right like that, and we're gonna add glue just to this very first panel that's closest to the inside of my card. And I'm gonna add seal plus 
right here. That's not going off that top edge. And I'm going to take this side and I'm just going to fold it over on top of that adhesive. There we go. And guess what's going to happen? Voila! It's going to create this column card so that somebody can like set it up on their desk, right? Like that. And isn't that cute? But it folds and it will fit into a regular envelope. I'll prove that to you in just a minute. Okay. Now let's hold this folded down and we're going to take this other panel that we made and we're just going to add it right there to that top panel. Okay. So let me grab my seal plus right here. Have you guys seen the column card like this before? Um, I have seen them, but I hadn't made one, so I thought maybe you would enjoy making one with me. All right, so there we go. So this is Lost Lagoon. My colored cardstock is, oh, geez. Um, let me get my adhesive eraser. There we go. Um, I know, it's so cool, isn't it, Dana? So fun and it's so easy to do. I love it. Okay, so I'm taking my adhesive eraser and just getting some of that glue off the front of my panel right here, okay? All right, now, so fun, so fun, so fun. All right, so what I did next is I took my designer series paper and I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm using the Zany Zoo, and I'm using our Curvy Circle Punch, which I'm pretty sure is retiring, which makes me very sad. And I grabbed one of these critters. So I could have grabbed any of these, right? Like, I could have um, grabbed the armadillo. I decided I really liked this little koala right here that is juggling the cupcakes because, you know, I'm a cupcake lover. But this would have been cute with the dog with the confetti would fit. The armadillo would fit. I'm not sure if that big um, elephant would fit in, but maybe we wouldn't need his whole body, right? Maybe if we wanted the elephant, we could just cut off his legs. <laughs> So anyway, okay, so I'm just going to cut these little critters out right here, and let's see what I could do. Could I do the elephant? I could do the elephant. I could get most of the elephant, right? Or this koala is what I did right here, okay? I might have cut that a little close to the edge there. Let's see if I can get him. There, so that's what I did. I just punched out the koala, okay, with my curvy circle punch. And then I got a piece of basic black and I just punched it with my two and a half inch circle punch. So this is what I ended up with. Okay, my koala, juggling the cupcakes, Right, like that, and then that two and a half inch circle punch. I love this DSP too, Sue. We're always sad to lose the ones we love the most, aren't we? Um, so, I took my koala and, oh my gosh, I need to just get rid of that one forever. I'm gonna throw it in my trash can so I don't pick it up anymore. Um, here's my, um, koala panel and I'm going to add that black circle behind it right there. Okay, very cute. And then what I recommend that you do um, is add dimensionals to the column where you want it. Okay, because if you try to put them on the circle, you just need to make sure that they all fit right inside Maybe I could do it here. So I didn't even need to erase that adhesive because these, it's gonna cover it up. 
Okay, so I'm going to take off those dimensionals. I'm going to add my koala right there. Is he not the cutest? She. I think it's a she because she likes pink cupcakes. So then it's going to pop up right like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of stamping here. So for the inside of our card, I chose the sentiment from Zany Zoo that says, Happy Birthday to You. And I'm going to use a Lost Lagoon ink pad for that. And I just had it out here. You can tell, you guys, that I'm a little on the tired side, right? Hmm. Let's go. Let's find that. Here it is right here. I put my elephant on top of him. All right. So I'm going to use Lost Lagoon on the inside. And I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday to You right here on the inside of my card. Cute, huh? And then, of course, you could write a little something, something right there. And then I got a scrap of white. And for the scrap of white, I decided I wanted to stamp the sentiment. Something, something great to celebrate you. Something great to celebrate you. Okay, I'm stamping that in Lost Lagoon. And then I'm using the Stylish Shapes dies. Praise the Lord that these are not going away. And I'm going to die cut that out right like that. Okay, this is the skinny long label from the Stylish Shapes dies. Fits right in there. Okay, and... Um, when we finished, we will get this right here. Now, I'm cutting off the, a little bit the pokey ends, the banner ends off this edge right here. Because I'm going to set this right here at the bottom of that circle with some dimensionals. And then I'm going to add a little embellishment of ribbon and some iridescent gems, okay? He's very cute, isn't he? I have another column card that I made with a whole different stamp set and die, so if you hang with me, I'll show you that one as well here in just a second, another option. Um, you could add another one of these panels right here if you wanted to, but actually, when it's standing up like this, they're not gonna they're not gonna see that side anyway. So um, I chose not to, but you could have if you wanted to, if it bothers you in any way whatsoever. Okay, I pulled out this petal pink ribbon that comes in the duo pack with the uh, lemon lime twist. It all coordinates with this zany zoo bundle, and I'm gonna tie a bow. Oh, I've got to tell you. Starting this Thursday in the afternoon, 3 in the afternoon, I'm going to do a Judy's Thursday Tips Facebook Live. Oh, my goodness. This dog does this to me every time, doesn't he? I should learn my lesson. Um, so, sorry for the noise. Poor baby. Somebody at the retreat was making fun of my dog who honks during my Facebook lives. <laughs> uh, nobody's perfect, right? Okay, so there's my little bow, and I think I'm just going to add that right over here to the side. Do you think that's cute? I kind of like it. All right, so I'm going to add that little bow right there. And, okay, and my second, there we go. So cute, right? And then I have some... Um, iridescent gems here that I'm going to add to the card front just to give it a little bling. You know, we got to have a little bling on our card. You know, Judy, she she needs the, the bling. 
Um, let me add another one up here at the top. Maybe a couple of more down here at the bottom, just to add some bling to that um, front panel there. Maybe another little one next to it, right here. There we go. Isn't that adorable? I love this little column card. I think he's so cute. So I'm going to prove to you how this this card fits into a normal envelope here. Probably might need a little extra postage on it like that. See, you could just mail that out. Um, so cute. And I love cards that people can set. <laughs> That's true, Dana. Uh, I love cards that people can set on their desk and admire, right, um, for a while to show it off because I like when my cards are shown off. I don't know about you guys. Um, okay, so that is my card, mystery card, column card, four panel column card is what I think this is called. Isn't that so cute? I love that. Now, I want to show you another one that I made um, using the Gone Fishing stamp set. Okay, so I have a male friend uh, from my previous job that's retiring at the end of this year, and he loves to fish. So I made this card, column card, using uh, the Gone Fishing stamp set and dies. Um, this, um, is the, the Let's Go Fishing Designer Series paper. I chose the one that had a little bit of coral and blue and pebbled path in it. Um, this time I used pebbled path card stock with that DSP. This is Misty Moonlight. And you can see I used very vanilla instead of Whisper White. I cut a circle out of those stylish shapes. And this is actually the die from the Gone Fishing Die. Now, um, I'm trying to remember. I feel like this one might be staying around. Let me see. I can look it up really quick. Gone Fishing. The DSP will be going away, um, but it looks like the stamp set and dies are staying. And I used a little of that linen thread behind it. This is a very masculine card, right? Um, I love it. So that was the second option that I made using um, our mystery stamping measurements and projects. So I hope you guys loved these. Um, this is the fishing one. This is the one I made with the Zany Zoo. And they will both sit beautifully on someone's desk. And they will also fold into a regular envelope to send or to hand them with a gift. So um, I hope you guys love that. I'm gonna move my camera up and around. Um, this one was a little shorter and sweeter, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be back next Monday. And uh, we are getting so close to the launching of our new catalog. So after this video is over, I will um, put the links in the description of how to get on my email list so you know first thing when I have specials like the In Color Club or free shipping or adhesive sales, all those kinds of things. If you want to know those that information, I will have a link to join my email list above. Secondly, um, I will have a link to my online exclusive Super Saturday event and I will have a link to whatever else we need. So, <laughs> how's that? How's that for being really specific? So, thank you guys so much. I am always humbled and, and thrilled that you watch with me, and um, you give me such great feedback. If your name is Connie York, you're getting the cards I made from last week, and um, I will send those to you in the mail as soon as you give me your address. Thanks for the love. Thanks for sharing out my videos and giving me positive feedback. And somebody will be getting these two cards next week if you leave a comment um, in the comments below. So God bless everybody. Um, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next Monday. Bye-bye.